Whenever you go out in the woods, always keep your eyes open for the unexpected because you never know what you're going to find. I came out here because Hurricane Cristobal was coming up, cutting across uh, Louisiana and Arkansas, going across the United States, and I thought, what a better time uh, to come out and shoot uh, a series on the atmosphere, a series on meteorology. And lo and behold, I kept my eyes open and look what I found. Can you see it? Right here, a hummingbird nest. Isn't that just amazing? You almost never see these things because they're so well camouflaged. Now here in the southeastern United States where we live, the hummingbirds that we have that would nest in this area would be the ruby-throated hummingbirds. Uh, there, we might have some accidentals that come through blown here by a storm or uh, some fallout as they're migrating, but pretty much uh, ruby-throateds are the only ones in the eastern part of the United States in any significance. I also believe this is an eastern hummingbird, or the, sorry, forgive me, the ruby-throated hummingbird, because a lot of hummingbirds will nest by building their nests in, uh, in, in the, uh, the V, the, the notch or the crotch of a tree, where the ruby-throateds like to put them out actually on a branch. And if you can see this groove right here, it shows where that actually sat on a branch, just like that. Now, the cool thing about the ruby-throated nests, uh, or most hummingbirds, is that they'll use the standard materials, right? They'll use uh, twigs and grasses and mosses and things like that. Um, but in order to hold them together, they have a secret ingredient, and that is spider webs. They'll actually go and harvest spider silk, and they will use that to weave it together. And that gives their nest a certain amount of flexibility. And this allows their nest uh, to actually expand as the chicks are growing. Uh, the nest can expand with them and kind of hold them snug and hold them tight. Um, it takes about a week. It's only the female that builds the nest. It takes about a week for her to do it. And she finishes it off by attaching lichens or other things to the outside. Oftentimes, the ruby-throated will even use uh, pine pitch, the sap from pine trees, as like a glue, kind of a resin, to help to glue things together. But then they will camouflage them with this with these lichens or bits of moss or other things to literally make them disappear. It is exceedingly difficult to find hummingbird nest. This is the second one that I've ever found and the first one someone else found it and they showed it to me. So these are just amazing little nests. Unfortunately, with the uh, crystal ball coming through, the winds were kicking up last night and blowing around. It knocked this one loose and it came down. I didn't find any eggs near it. So hopefully either the baby hummingbirds had already fledged and flew off or maybe the, the mom wasn't, hadn't laid the eggs yet. I didn't find any eggs nearby at all. Now, when it comes to nests, there are laws regarding bird nests. You are not allowed to be in possession of them. As a matter of fact, if a nest is, ne if a nest is active, you should totally leave it alone. Even if you have to trim a branch, maybe it's brushing against your roof or something of your house, and you gotta trim it. If there's an active nest in there, you need to leave it alone. You can be fined uh, in some states, even jail time, if you mess with nesting birds. It's part of the Migratory Bird Act that was passed many, many years ago to help protect all of the native species of birds in this area in the United States. So don't mess with bird nests. Even if you think the nest is abandoned, other animals, snakes, lizards, mice, all kinds of animals can utilize the bird nest either in the tree or on the ground if it blows down. So Always leave bird nests alone, admire them, maybe take a couple of pictures of them, jot them down in your, in, your, uh, in your nature journal, make some sketches of them, take some measurements, do all kinds of cool science, but put them back when you're done. Don't walk away with them. Uh, as cool as this is, we gotta leave it for nature to do what nature does best. So I'm just gonna put this back right now. Hummingbird nest, that was awesome.